Alright, today I'm going to show you how to download a PlayStation emulator. I don't mess around with the computer much like I used to, but it's this really cool game I was playing earlier, fucking uh, Road Rash, Road Rash uh, Jailbreak. I'll show it to you real quick. I wanted this game ever since I was a kid, and somebody told me that you can play it on the computer. I didn't believe it, but this stuff actually works. I'll show you how to download it and everything in just a minute. I'm going to show you this first. This is cool, man. might be a little slow and uh, the video and the audio might not match up correctly but uh, I'm sure that we can get your emulator and your games and stuff downloaded for you. This is the game that I've been wanting to play since I was a kid. Never knew that you can play it on a computer until now. I don't normally skip. The only reason why the game is skipping is because I have Hypercam running. This game is realistic. Watch what happens if you crash. It's pretty realistic. And after you're done playing your emulator, you gotta go into your uh, task manager here and end the process. For some reason it doesn't fully end, but that's not a big deal. Now I'm going to show you how to download this. I hope the video and the audio are working, working right. And not like there's, I hope there's not a delay. All right, first thing you got to do, first thing you got to do is go. The easiest place to download your emulator would probably be Emulator Zone. So I'm going to use Google Chrome because my Internet Explorer doesn't work right. I don't like Google Chrome, but it's the only browser I have that works. Go to uh, emulatorzone.com. You got to put a dash in between emulator and zone or else it won't work. Once you get to emulatorzone.com, come over to the left, to the left of the screen, all the way, and click on click on Sony PlayStation. And after you get Sony PlayStation, come over here all the way to the right of your page where it says PlayStation and click on plugins and utilities here and after you get that you're gonna get your video plugin that you need to run your PlayStation emulator. I myself use Pete's GPU plugins 1.77. It's only 525 kilobytes. It's not going to take that long to download. After you download this, you're going to have to extract the file. And when you extract the file, I'm not going to download it because I already have it. But after you have the file, Save it to your desktop. You'll have this right here. You're going to have to extract this. And the files that are inside, you don't need the text documents. You only need the DLL files. There should be three of them. You want to copy or cut these, whichever you want to do. And you want to paste them to the plugins part of your M emulator hang on a second 
kind of went ahead of myself a little bit here. After you extract the zip folder for the emulator, you should have all the files, but then it's going to tell you you need to configure it in video. You need to go to your plugins folder and you need to paste these three plugins. I've already done it. As you can see here, I've already done it, but once you have these three plugins, your emulator will work. Then after you have your emulator working, double click it, and it should work. Now after you have your emulator, you're going to need games. Games are not hard to download at all. Whenever you have your games, some of them you have to extract, some of them you don't. But after you have that, you want to hit Run ISO and then just select whichever game you want to play. If you want to play Road Rash, select the disk image file. Open. Should work. If it doesn't work, then select one of them. I'm going to show you how to download some games in just a minute. I just want to show you how to how to run your video games once you get, her, once you get everything working. There you go. Now, every time you're done playing this emulator, you're going to have to come into your task manager here. Sorry about that. Every time you're done playing your emulator, you're going to have to go into your task manager. Control, alternate, delete on your keyboard. Go over to processes and end the process of the emulator because for some reason it still runs in the background and sucks up all your CPU. But other than that, it's pretty good. Now I'm going to show you how to download these games now. What you want to do is you want to go... Oops, I clicked Internet Explorer by accident. What you gotta do is you gotta go to romhustler.net. I'll put a link in the description for you. Romhustler.net, though, is where you get all your video games from. Some of these games are five and 600 megabytes, so they're gonna take a little while, but you get the point. Make sure you type in .net. Romhustler.com is, is another website. I don't know what it is, but it's taken me there before. Make a long story short, here you go. You're at Rom Hustler. You should see this little devil dude staring at a video game controller. Click on... You can either click on ROMs or just select PlayStation. I think if you just click on PlayStation, it's a little easier. You can get your... Uh, games easier that way. Click on that. And then after you go down, you've got all your games here. Now after you download the games, you're probably going to have an RAR file. And when you have an RAR file, I think you got to extract it. When you extract it, make sure you just extract it somewhere where you know your, where it's going to be, like on your desktop. I have a shortcut here for mine, and it takes me right to where I extracted all my games. I've already extracted Road Rash, and I got these four files. You got to have like a 7-zip, or a, there's a good program I use. It's very simple. It's called Open Knife. Right here, Open Knife. And uh, you just drag your RAR file there and it'll copy the files right here on your desktop for you after that just cut it and paste it somewhere you know it'll be safe where you're not going to delete it and then after that you should have your video games you should be good if I miss something or if I kind of screwed you up feel free to send me a message or, or uh, send me an email whatever you gotta do thank you very kindly for watching my video and I hope you can have your uh, have your video games. If you have any questions just message me. If I screwed up I'll make another video. That's no problem. Alright have a good one. I hope you enjoy your video games.